That's that hard slider. And what makes him unique is that he has thrown 100 plus and his fastball has sinking action. I was just going to say that, that as a hitter, you're like, OK, if a guy's going to throw 100, at least it's going to be straight, right? <laughs> well, this guy's got uh, late movement on a 100 mile an hour fastball. That's just not fair. Guillermo stays alive. Over. While Hicks underwent Tommy John yeah. surgery back in 2019, and then he opted out last year. Well, Jordan is a type 1 diabetic, so it right. made sense to opt out last year. Gave him a, another year to get bigger and stronger. Might not seem it here on our television cameras, but this young man looks like a, like a tight end when you get up next to him. Just big and, and strong. So overpowers the baseball. It's also interesting because he really goes almost right from his ear, not like a traditional pitching motion, which is like a catching motion, which mm. usually means the ball straight, which is even more remarkable that it moves. Here's the 0-2, and it's fouled away by Guillaume. I think the Cardinals are hoping that Hicks will take over as their primary closer at some point this season. You know, Giovanni Gallegos is in that discussion for the moment. But this guy can be an incredible weapon at the back end. So he's been working on the, the backfields for the Cardinals, but this is his first game action since back on June 22nd, 2019. And then again, he had the Tommy John surgery and opted out last year. Now I said before that when he first came up, he was throwing 100 plus with a two seamer with sinking action. But I think all of these pitches have been four seamers by Hicks, so a little change in game plan, that hard slider, and of course, all pitchers now are trying to take advantage of the top of that strike zone. Luis Guillorme walked in his only at bat so far today. Mm. It's a nice at bat. I mean, he's seen a couple of sliders that he's fought off, and then has to protect against that 100 mile an hour fastball and up in the zone not easy to catch up with. This will be the eighth pitch of the at bat from Hicks to Guillaume. Here's the one two. We'll do it again. Hicks, by the way, just 24 years old. Appeared in 73 games for the Cardinals back in 2018. It's a Cardinal team that finished second in the American League Central a season ago. National League Central, I should say. Lost that wild card series two games to one to the Padres. And that one is foul. Well, it's going to be interesting to watch the Central this year. If you look at these teams, I don't think the Cubs have gotten better. The Cardinals got better because of Arenado. The Reds are not better than they were last season. Pirates are going to have a disastrous year. The Brewers are a team that are going to be good. I think so, too, because they've had some disappointing years last year in the shortened season, and I think those guys are going to be back ready to go. Here's pitch number 10 now. And Guillaume stays alive, battling. So the Brewers have added a former Cardinal, Colton Wong. He signed uh, that two-year, $18 million contract. The Jackie Bradley Jr. signing was interesting, or 
didn't make a lot of sense to me because of their outfield configuration but mm. that's why you don't want to take these at bats <laughs> 99 miles per hour from Hicks is Guillaume leans out of the way Guillaume looks comfortable in the box he's just mm. gearing up on everything hard and Hicks hasn't thrown him yet that put away slider that down and in that breaks off the plate he's left him in the plate and the fastball obviously for strikes Quite a battle here as the count goes full between Hicks and Guillaume. <laughs> Hicks wanted to make sure that they realized that was a foul ball and not a ball. The board says 3 2, but he's like, yeah, I think it's only 2 2. <laughs> Guillaume reaches out and it's just foul. Wow. Sometimes as a pitcher, Ronnie, you might want to just like throw an EFIS in there, right? Just like, hey, here it is. Let's play softball. Hit it to one of my guys out there. And I think it just shows the toughness uh, in a mid-March game against uh, a guy that throws 100 and Guillaume is sticking his nose in there. you got to appreciate the effort. Here's the 13th pitch now. And that one is fouled the other way. <laughs> He's got his team going. <laughs> Holy cow, they love it. Alonzo loves it. Dominic loves it. Michael Conforto with a big smile on his face. Yachty's going out to give Hicks a breather. He's like 14 straight pitches. I thought we might be out of the inning by now. <laughs> Have we ever seen a pitcher roll out of the inning because before he gets a hitter out? Could happen. Yeah, I'm sure they don't want to stress him too much. <laughs> right. Funny the things that can become entertaining in a spring training game, right? You got the whole bench up. That's right. When a lot of times the veteran guys are getting ready to take it in by this point, they're all standing on the top step cheering on Guillaume. I think that's great. So you can take them out and then put them back in, right? If you don't want to overtax them here. That's right. Yeah. My goodness gracious, Luis Guillorme putting up quite an at bat here against Jordan Hicks in the fifth inning. I will say this is fun for the bench. It's fun for Guillorme because he's battling. Not fun for Hicks. No, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> As a pitcher, you must at one point just be like, all right, come on. Even get a hit already. Just <laughs> give me a new guy. And here is the 16th pitch now from Hicks. And that one is poked. Foul into the Mets bullpen. Holy cow. <laughs> and the crowd getting into it. The Mets bench getting into it. I started a game uh, against the Brewers. Pat Listash, the rookie of the year, led off the game. I didn't think it was this kind of a bat. 15 or 17 pitches, the first hitter of the game. One more time. And that one is. Oh my goodness. Fouled off. Molina couldn't hang on to it. <laughs> I would I would put this into the epic battle category. The Mets bench actually seems like they may be more excited about a foul ball than anything else that would result. Because of this at bat, this might be the only hitter Hicks sees. Had a lefty warming up. And again, Guillaume stays alive. This is. Look at Pete on the top step there. Now, think about the new rule. If he came in and had to face three hitters and hasn't has an at bat like this, and they have to stay with him for three hitters. Top step of the dugout. Everybody excited to see what's going to happen on pitch 19, and that one is bounced wow. foul. This is hilarious. And as you said, the only one that doesn't think it's very funny is that guy on the mound. <laughs> I mean, you could roll over this pitcher for a team, the Cardinals, who had trouble the first week of spring training getting their starters through the first inning. 
Are Dominic and Pete trying to get the weave going? <laughs> Here we go, pitch 20 of the at bat. And that one misses inside, and the count goes full now. Dom didn't know what the count was. 101 miles an hour right there, too, for Hicks, the hardest. <laughs> oh, oh, look at that in the at -bat. reaction from Dominic. I thought it was 3-2. Well, that was that foul at the plate that Todd pointed out. One more time. Yeah. Wow. He probably was on a 25 pitch limit uh, for, for an the inning, inning don't yeah. you think? Yes. He, he, this is his only hitter. Lefty's coming in. This is the 22nd pitch of the at bat from Hicks to Guillaume. Yeah. And Guillaume wa walks, works out a walk. My goodness gracious. Walk of the year on the 14th of March. And there comes the manager, Mike <laughs> Schilt, out of the bull, out of the dugout, and they're going to switch pitchers. He, he faced one pitcher as Garrett Williams is on his way in. He'll be the one, one hitter. Garrett Williams will be the new pitcher for the Cardinals.